Hi, Flosstube. Welcome back. My name is Tina, and I'm a 14 count Ada girl. If you're new here, uh, all I stitch on is 14 count Ada, and I'm glad you joined us today, and I hope you see something here that you like, and you stick around, hit that like and subscribe and comment button. I love talking with everyone. I answer all my comments. So if you have any comments or questions, put them down below, and I'll be happy to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, today, I do have eight wows to show. Uh, a wow is what I call my whips of the week, and it's everything that I've worked on in this last, well, it's been two weeks. Sorry, it has been two weeks. I didn't make it last week. I just didn't have that much to show, so it was kind of pointless to actually make a video, so I did not make one last week. So this one is two weeks long, and yes, it still only has eight wows. Uh, the reason it only has eight wows is because I've been putting a lot of dedication into 100 owls by Al Forest Embroidery. I am at the end of this project, and that was Aspen that just came through here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm not gonna show it today because I am like four owls from being done, but next week I will show it and it will be a finish. It won't be FFO'd, I'll probably get it FFO'd after Christmas. So, Today we have the eight wows and we have some haul. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all went, but uh, to the Jingle Ball, I went to the Jingle Ball um, and I did meet some people there that I I had, had watched my channel. So that was kind of cool. And I got to meet people from Australia and uh, all kinds of places. So that was a lot of fun. I hope you, that if you went, you enjoyed yourself as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I do have 40, around 40 wows or whips and each month I circulate through them and I touch each one of them for a minimum of 100 stitches. And last month, this the first two that I'm showing are the last two from the rotation for November. And then everything in November was touched and now I'm starting my rotation again. So these were the last two for November. This is Little House Noodle Works Kringles. So it will get touched one more time for December. And this is where I am on it. I am in the second block. Now I have changed some colors of this because my fabric, my fabric choice was not good. Um, so I have had to change some colors. Um, I may actually change the colors here too because this this light color that they called for is um, too close to my fabric. I have changed the soldier's outfit. I've made all these trees green. There's a lot of things I've had to change because I picked a bad fabric color. So that's what I have so far <sighs> on Kringles. I normally count my stitches. I have not been counting my stitches lately. I don't know why, I just kind of stopped. I will get back to counting them. I just like to count them for myself. Uh, the next thing I worked on was the other last one from last month, and that is Stitcher's Resolution by Heartstring Sampleri. Looks like this. And one of my viewers put in my comments a couple weeks ago that on this sentence here, it says, when in doubt, always buy more linen and thread, that I should change that to Ada. And I did. So here we go. And this is what we have. So I just kind of put it in uh in there and I centered it where linen was and made the word Ada there and centered it left and right so it looks like it like it always belonged there. So there we go. So those two are the last two to finish up the month of November. And now we start back this rotation. I don't do them in any specific order. Sometimes I spin the wheel, sometimes I uh, just pick one at random and go with it, or I'll grab two or three out of my, my container and just go that way. It just depends. No particular order, just so they all get touched. They're all on a wheel, so I mark them off once they've been touched, so I know what's been done and what's not been done. So the next project is His Eye is on the Sparrow. 
by Heartstring Samplery. In case you haven't seen that. There's a lot there, so I'll give you a minute to look at it. I've seen this one done up in person on a 28 count, which over two is the same as a 14, and it was just absolutely beautiful. So I decided then and there that I had to have it. To me, this just looks like a jumbled mess. <laughs> I don't know. I just, the pictures just never do them justice. So like, I am just right up here in the first little, looks like a peacock. I, I think he's a peacock in this first flower, but let's see, let's see how close I can get that. No, it's not doing that good of a job. But there we are, and here is where I am on it. How wonderful does that look? It just pops off this fabric. It is so awesome. Oh, I have not been telling you my fabrics. Uh, the fabric on this one is, I have it written down somewhere. Of course, I can't find the current name. The Bloom. This is 14 count the Bloom. I knew that. I didn't write that down. So this is 14 count the Bloom. These are DMC flosses. So it comes out just absolutely beautiful. And I do have an entire yard of it. I have it all wrapped up. I did get this from 123 Stitch. Uh, the last two that you saw, I don't have what Kringles is on. I bought it a long time ago, so I don't have its name. This is just an ivory for the um, Stitcher's Resolution. It's just a regular ivory, nothing special about that. Um, that one is done in the fancy floss that it's called for. Kringles is done in DMC. You think I've never done this before? I've forgotten how to do it. Okay. The next thing I worked on is called An Act of Kindness. And it's by Sister Lou Stitches. And it says, no matter how small, an act of kindness is never wasted. And it's such a cheerful little cross stitch. I just love it so much. And my husband had dental work done a uh, week before last and then he had dental work done today. And I had outlined this cloud and I done like half of the cloud while he was in the dentist the other day. So, and then uh, the other night I went ahead and finished off the cloud and that's where this one sits. Now, I figured I'd go ahead and finish up the cloud. And now the cloud is done and it can be shown. And this is just on a blue. This 14 count blue Ada was gifted to me so I don't have any special information about it but it's coming out so pretty i really really like it and the dental work that he had done today i took my 100 owls with me and i'm down to like five four or five owls now so it won't be long y'all won't be long it'll be in next week's i guarantee it'll be in next week's and it'll be a finish okay so the next project i do have is uh, a stitching shelf, and this is a Haid Heaven and Earth design. Artwork is by Amy Stewart. And I have just begun on this, so I only have, uh, I think, 500 stitches in it currently. I'm still up in this very top corner with all these flowers here. I don't know if they're peonies or what they are, but they're really pretty flowers. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, 500 stitches. And there again, I have a big old piece of fabric and it's all locked up. And this is just a piece of ivory, nothing special about it. There again, I do love ivory. I think it's a very pretty color. And this is gonna be full coverage anyway, so you're not gonna see any of it. So no point in putting on a special fabric for it. And that's where I am on that. I am enjoying working on this one. Oh, I enjoy working on all of them, I suppose. <laughs> Oops. Don't move my camera. Okay, and that's that. And grab this other two. Three. Okay. 
next product I worked on is by Charting Creation. It's called Welcome Back to School. Artwork is by Bonnie White. It is a full coverage as well. I did 100 stitches on this one, as well as that stitching shelf, because those I can actually count. <laughs> There we go. We have one more 100 here before we start the next row up and come back down. I have done quite a bit on this. I have worked my way all the way down for like three columns, three columns all the way down. So I do know I have enough space. This is on an already gridded Ada that I got from AliExpress. And it's a great big piece as well. <laughs> and that is done with DMC flosses as well. And the next project I have, I worked on Spring Quaker a little bit. Spring Quaker is Leela Studios. And this is what it looks like if you have not seen it. This is done on a 14 count fabric flare in the color Nut. I have not been able to find it for, for people who've asked. I still cannot find it. Um, I bought it about a year or so ago in a craft sto in a store I was in, a cross stitch store, but I bought like the whole yard they had. I don't know if it was a special color at the time, but uh, anyway, I, I put in the words, no matter how long. I think I did like, I started at that second T in matter. And I think I did like 104 on it. It's on Instagram. Uh, I am on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'm also a 14 count Ada girl on both of those flat platforms. So the next thing I worked on was Summer Quaker. And that was just because I grabbed the two out of the bin at the same time. I just reached in, grabbed two, and one happened to be Spring Quaker and one happened to be Summer Quaker because I keep them alphabetized. <laughs> and so, this is Leela Studios Summer Quaker. And today, I put in that blackbird. And the two little motifs beside it. This blue one and this blue one. These two little blue ones. There we go. So, I think it got like 150 or something. So, so the bird, this one, and this one got put in. I think that looks really good. This is also on an ivory. They said, I like my ivory. And that is all other than my 100 ounce. And like I said, I will show everybody that next week just because I am so close to finishing it. And I want to show it to y'all when it's completely finished. So the other thing I have to show you is my haul. Now, I did not buy anything at the Jingle Ball. Believe it or not, I did not. Because I knew on Saturday I had to go to my LNS because it was our... Uh, our uh, first of the month stitchy group. And so while I was there, of course I looked around and these are the things I bought. This is Hello Autumn, the Sue Hillis design. I just thought that was too cute. You're gonna see, see a red truck theme here. It wasn't intentional, just kind of happened this way. <laughs> Another Sue Hillis design, another red truck. <laughs> this is Bringing Home the Tree, I believe is the name of this one. Yes, Bringing Home the Tree by Sue Hillis. Um, here's another Sue Hillis. This is actually part three of a four part series. This was on their discounted rack and they only had part three. So I put part one, two, and four on my my wish list on one, two, three stitch and gave that to my family and I'm sure I will be finding it for Christmas. So 
So I got this cute little bell pull by Tiny Modernist. If you haven't seen this one, it's so cute. A little Santa coming down the chimney there. It's really adorable. I got these owls in the round. These are by JDW. I probably won't make mine orange. I will probably make them little brown owls and I'll probably make different shades. More than likely, I will probably change that one all up. I got another one of the Cottage Garden Sampling Snowman series. I got The Coachman. I am currently working on snowman number, I believe he's three, and he's the shepherd. Um, I saw a lady working on this at my LNS, and it was so pretty. And I love Trace Cogat anyway, so I had to pick it up because it looks so much prettier than this photo. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's called Remember Me. It says, when this you see, remember me. And it is so pretty stitched up. And so I'm kind of excited to start on that one sometime. Um, I'm probably going to try to keep my whips at, at 40 or less. So I'm going to try to keep them that way. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, I started this channel with like 15 whips and now I'm up to 40. So, and it hasn't even been a year yet. <laughs> I got, I picked up the no, newest edition autumn 2023 of the stony creek cross stitch magazine i usually don't pick up magazines but i just really loved a lot of these little snowmen on here they really were adorable so i was like yeah i think i'm picking this one up um yeah it was the snowman that got me on that one and then i also picked up the just cross stitch magazine which i never do either because of this scene, it reminds me a lot of my Kringles. Isn't that gorgeous? Right? Oh, so pretty. That is December 2023. So it will still be probably at your LNS. And then my LNS is always the stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. And they have a grab bag usually with um, things that I, I guess they discounted or maybe they didn't sell as well as they thought they would or whatever. Um, but the sell price on these is $10. You get five patterns in a bag. You can't see what they are until you, until you pay for it. And usually there's a few of us at, the, at our LNS and um, a few of us will normally pick them up. And then we use them like trading cards, you know, like, oh, if I already have this one, maybe I can trade it with her for something she's got. And, and so that's what we tend to do. It's a lot of fun. And so actually, uh, three of these I did trade. This is another one. <laughs> it came in in my, my bag, so I just kind of had to get it because I was already getting everything with trucks anyway. <laughs> so I kept this one, <laughs> even though it's another bringing home the tree type of thing. And this is by oh, Hoop Dee Doo. So that is, I thought was really, really cute. I got this Welcome Spring. And I don't believe I have this one. And this is by Pine Mountain Designs. I picked up this Story Time with Santa which I treated a friend of mine for, by Karen. And um, I realized when I got home, I looked through my stash and I had this one. So Karen, if you need this one back, let me know. We'll do another trade if you decide you want this because now I absolutely have two of them. Okay. Uh, then I traded uh, Spring Littles with uh, one of the other ladies there. And I had the Winter Littles came in my bag and I already had the winter littles and she already had the spring littles. So it worked out well for us that we traded one spring for one winter. And then this one was also a trade. This is Mill Hill Autumn Harvest. It says give thanks. Um, it's the, the autumn series is back here. 
There's a little apple tree here with a truck under it. Um, that was the one I got, so I traded it for this gift, thanks, because I thought I had enough trucks. <laughs> so that is all I have to show for today. And as always, I would like to say, if you have not done so yet, please go get your mammogram. A mammogram is very important to have one annually. They could save your life. They did mine. So until next time, bye-bye.